Hi, I'm Mary Reynolds-Thompson and today I want to talk to you about mountain wisdom in the time of the coronavirus. I think there's a very strong sense growing amongst many of us that we don't want the world that we re-emerge into to look the same as the world in which we, you know, went under shelter in place and lockdown. Um, so that means that even though we're perhaps more isolated, um, quieter in our lives, you know, less busy in many ways, we can still be feeling a tremendous sense of restlessness and discontent and a sense of things stirring deep within us. And this is very much mountain energy. So mountains get formed out of eruption and friction and collision. And so there's a sense that if we really want to remake this world, that we need to allow ourselves to feel that hot-bellied fierceness that says, this isn't right. I don't like the way things are. I want to take a stand for something different. And yet, we can shame ourselves for feeling negative thoughts, right? We say, oh, you know, we look around and there's so much suffering. People are dying and people are getting sick and people are losing their livelihoods. And so oftentimes we think, ah, you know, we were not entitled to feel anything other than grateful. And it's okay and it's good to feel grateful. But it's also really, really good to be and delve deep in to that sense of resistance, anger, rebellion, um, feeling one's own soul sort of colliding with the worldview and saying, I don't like this. I want something new to emerge. I want different things to take form, to take shape, for the topography of this world to be different after this. So mountain energy is an invitation to go deep into your sense of restlessness and get curious about it. And that restlessness can be really a divine discontent. And I love that the word for altar comes from the word for high places, because there's some way that we're not erupting just to destroy. That's, we know how to do that, right? We've all done it. Um, this is creative destruction. We're trying to get rid of something in order for something new to emerge. And so this is really sacred work. Your divine discontent is needed if we are going to reshape this world into one in which we care for this planet and each other. Don't let people tell you that we should just get on with things. Don't let people tell you we just need to get back to normal. Don't let people tell you that this idea that is stirring in your belly is crazy or the world doesn't need it. Be with it. Have the courage to get vulnerable with it, to push it out in the world, to, to like a mountain, stand tall. And I just want to end, if possible, by taking you to my Mount Tamalpais, which is behind me. You're gonna hear the crackling of the leaves. And I want to show you, because she is a feminine mountain. She is full-bodied, but still incredibly, incredibly beautiful and powerful and strong and I hope that you can see her there in the background because she dominates my home of Marin County and reminds me every day what it is to stand tall in this world. I'm Mary Reynolds Thompson. I'm author of Reclaiming the Wild Soul and founder of Live Your Wild Soul Story. I remembered that <laughs> and I'll see you next time in the grasslands.